All right, so welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about selecting a research topic. This is kind of what happens early on in your PhD journey, but don't feel like you are married to your idea because it is bound to change. Selecting a research topic can be difficult, it can be challenging, but at the end of the day, it is your research and it is something that you are doing for yourself. And that was something that I had to really work through in my PhD journey. So in your PhD interview, more than likely you're going to be asked, what is your research interest and what interests you? Going into my program, I just knew that I was going to study school readiness and parental involvement and making sure that students are ready to start school because that was a personal passion of mine. Like I know that all of my success is attributed to my mother and her hard work and making sure that I was academically prepared. So I really wanted to study that. But once you start reading up on it and you start really delving into the topic, it wasn't as exciting as I had hoped. And I just couldn't see myself doing extensive research on it. Keep in mind that once you select your topic, you will be reading every and anything about it. So you really have to love your topic and really love what you're writing about because you're gonna be doing a lot of reading. And personally, school readiness was just too much of a bore for me that I didn't even want to continue. So somewhere in the midst of all that, I had to really sit down, do some self-reflection, and I decided that if I'm gonna be working this hard, doing something, I need to be doing something that I love, and that is how I landed on my research topic. So for my research, I am studying black women. Why do you think I'm gonna study black women? Because I'm a black woman. And so all of the things that I've been reading is because I know that I can either relate to it, I can find some type of similarity to it, I can understand the difference in it. I am connected to it because these are probably experiences that if I have not already had, I will have or maybe not have or just be mindful and insightful about. So that's kind of why I settled on studying black women. This was a population that I can relate to and identify with. I think that was step one in selecting my topic. Step two was getting down to the crux of what I really love and that's media. Anybody that knows me knows that I can sit in front of a TV for hours and sometimes on end I leave my TV on and that is really where I just love getting lost is in television and media generally speaking like I love all things pop culture. I'm not that much of a film buff but I will watch movies. Um, I'm constantly trying to just have my ear to the street on what's going on in media. And so that is how I stumbled into part two of my topic, which is studying media representations of black women. Um, for years, I think we are making a change, but for years, there have been very static representations of black women and I hated it. And um, I personally hate it, but that doesn't mean that we as a black community hate it because many of those static representations are profitable, right? So I wanted to just study that and get into it. And then my last kind of sprinkle, if, for, if you would say, would be um, me studying black women in college. So I have been a career student. I have not stopped yet. I've been in school since preschool <laughs> like I literally have not had a break from school so I understand the mindset of a student to a T like I get it burnout um, being overworked stress all these other factors that play into a part of being a student so I wanted to research that I wanted to learn about that I wanted to learn the experiences of black students particularly black women and so that's kind of how my topic meshed together so in essence, if I put it all together in one um, concise, my research study is studying the media representations of black women and how they influence and impact black college women's experiences. Um, and so because I am such a lover of media, 
I eventually do want to take my research and turn that into television programming or movie programming or books or you know there are so many avenues that I could go in with that particular topic and I did that purposefully because there will be a life after being a PhD student um, and so I wanted to kind of lay the groundwork and the foundation for that because in all I do see myself working in entertainment and media along with being in education so my tips if when you're trying to select your topic is make sure that it is something you love make sure that it is a passion because baby doing all that reading and not enjoying it is going to drive you insane be aware that this may be your career topic not that it has to be but it could be so 10, 15 years down the line, are you still going to be as invested in this topic as you were day one of grad school? Um, and, and by no means do you have to stick with the topic that you start with. As I explained in my interview, I started with school readiness and then somehow I ended up all the way over here at media representations. So it's okay to be flexible and just let your calling come to you, okay? Um, because as you go through your coursework, you will come to understand yourself more as a student, as an educator, as an academic, and that will very much help you determine your topic choice. So if you are in grad school, even working on your thesis, what are some of your research topics? Let's start a dialogue in the comments and talk about what some of us are studying. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so, and I'll see you in my next video.